assalamu alaikum in this video we will create a 3d text again because there were a lots of requests about uh, create this effect again so i thought i should just create this effect again so it's not a difficult thing it's just simple smart easy and quick so let's start and before we start let me just show you some examples as we know tomorrow is eid day and eid mobile to all of you i will prepare a video tomorrow especially for you guys and um, let's see what we can create using this so this is an eagle and we will, we will use this logo today and it will look like this and another one is this example and this is also created with same technique it's not a different thing to create this effect I have used Photoshop CS6 extend there is the version name here it's the extended version how to convert this into for into extended uh, I have provided a link uh, I have created a video how to convert a simple or regular Photoshop CS6 into a extended version so go watch this go those videos if you don't have uh, uh, extended version so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and let's start our work. Uh, so first of all, you need to have Photoshop CS6 extended to keep in mind the version. Now we'll create a new file. So we'll go to file, new, we'll create a new document. Size of the document is 9020 and the height is 1080 pixels. Background contents are transparent and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. We will name this uh, uh, document as a 3D, we can say that uh, logo, sorry. Okay, so everything is uh, normal now. I am using transparent background. So click on OK. The file is created and you will see these guides are interrupting our uh, canvas. So we'll go to view from here. We'll click on clear guides. All the guides will be gone. Now we need a logo. So. I will provide you a link of uh, this file uh, you can uh, download this logo and the other two one uh, which I have showed you in example so we'll use this logo today we'll close this open this uh, clip and uh, drag this EPS file and uh, drag it into uh, we can say that Photoshop document that's nice now we'll press shift alt and size it up like here I think it's uh, it's nice yes it's much bigger so yes that's that's uh, that's fine now click on this check mark now we will press ctrl 0 I will press uh, right click on this layer and click on rasterize name this layer as a uh, logo then we will press shift uh, sorry ctrl shift and U to convert this into a black and white image now we will press ctrl L size it up uh, to call up our levels now we'll simply just click and drag this uh, and then drag it inside like this then again and convert this like this that's great now it's converted into uh, we can say that black and white image a little bit now click on ok now we'll select our eraser tool to select magic eraser tool click and hold and you will see these three other tools you click on mag uh, magic eraser tool click and erase the black background then again click on this if you don't see this you will see that we uh, have lost it the black area so for this image we will press ctrl alt and z we will invert this first we will press ctrl shift and i mm, oops sorry we will press ctrl i to invert this now you will see the white area becomes black and the black area becomes white so we'll erase this white area and the only thing is left is our logo so we'll click select a rectangular tool and we'll separate the logo from the text press ctrl shift and j and you will delete other things now you will see that's uh that's the logo separated from the background or press ctrl uh, a and then we will center this 
now press control d and you will see this is the basic logo now uh, let's rename this layer again and call it as logo now the basic thing is done now we need to convert this into a 3d workspace so we'll right click on this and click on new 3d extrusion from selected layer if you don't see this icon or option just go to 3d and click on new 3d extrusion from selected layer it will ask about do you want to use 3d workspace like we are using now essential workspace so we'll click on yes and everything is here you will see a 3d workspace is opened now we'll select our logo and then uh, from here you will see the extrusion depth we will change it to 350 you can make it smaller or longer this is the depth of our logo so no worry about that now we'll select our front inflation material this is the first layer in 3d panel and we'll select this drop down and we will uh, enlarge this and we will find out our uh, material if you don't see material just right click on this and click on reset material and click on ok then click on no and the default material will be there but we cannot see other things so we will select on default ok if you don't see these uh, things don't worry about that we will create our own first of all we will click on uh, specular this is the basic uh, color so we'll change this uh, color to about uh, blue so click on ok now we'll change this diffusion uh, and uh, we will keep this diffusion uh, about if you don't change this diffusion it, it's, it doesn't matter so for this I think we should just uh, leave it as here so click on ok now uh, we will select these three you can select these three or you can select this uh, logo uh, inflation so that's nice press control H yes that's nice I think we should just select these three and we'll select on specular change the specular to this is the light color which we want to draw so I would like to draw a golden light because it renders nicely like this click on ok and now we will select our diffuse this is the material color so I would like to give this color a uh, little light color I think is nice yeah I think yes so click on ok very nice now by selecting keeping selection uh, these three layers we, we can increase the shine so I would like to increase the shine to 50% uh, shine and then we we'll increase the reflection if you want to increase this if you don't want to use the this uh, you can leave it as it is I would like to use reflection a little bit so we'll use 10% reflection that's nice and now we will leave everything as it is or we will check to remove this texture and that's nice now it looks nice so this is the basic settings for the text or we can say that for our logo now we'll go back to layers clip and close this now we'll create a new layer and we'll take this layer under our logo layer name this layer as BG as our background layer and we'll fill it with white color so this is the white color and that's nice now we'll right click on this and click on postcard so once it's uh, converted into postcard you will redirect it to the 3D workspace don't be worried about that just select layers and we will select uh, both of these layers and press ctrl E to uh, we can say that uh, make these both layer into a single one layer that's nice now we'll select 3d uh, area and everything is basically ready so uh, we will select environment to check other things uh, everything is nice here uh, we will increase the opacity of the shadow to about 92 percent or we can increase it to 100 percent that's nice now uh, we will render our scene uh, to render this scene we'll just go to 3d and click on render or you can just press alt shift control plus r so we will uh, click on render it will start rendering you will see in photoshop it's very easy and quick to uh, create these kind of uh, reflective or shiny effects you can see that 
and uh, as we know it will take lots of time to render uh, this so uh, we will skip this rendering in fast mode and after rendering this scene we will meet uh, after rendering okay so as you can see that it is about to complete the process so i think we should just interrupt that because it will take a lots of time you can see that one hour and 53 minutes to complete this render so i would like to interrupt this here because the basic view is completely ready so let's just click and interrupt it here okay so the basic rendering is complete now we will go back to our essential workspace that's nice and now we'll right click on our rendered layer and we'll convert this into a smart object once it's converted into a smart object now we are free to use or apply some basic effects on this as we did it uh, in most of our videos so uh, let's start uh, first of all we will change the face of our logo so we'll select a uh, magic wand tool we'll press and hold shift key and click and click on the faces of our logo so it will create a selection around our logo now we will create a new layer and we will name this layer as a face that's nice and now we'll press d and change the foreground color to according to our needs so i think we should just change it to about like this click on uh, maybe a little bit bright that's nice now click on ok now we will press alt plus backspace to fill this with uh, this uh, effect now press ctrl d that's pretty much nice but it's a dull color so we will create a selection again and we'll change the foreground color to a little light color like here now ok and press alt plus backspace and that looks nice now we will double click on our layer and we'll apply some basic effects so we could see some more interesting things we will make it uh, inside and change the color to white it's much better then we'll lower down the opacity you can lower down this or you can make it a uh, soft light I think it's uh, normal nice then we'll go to inner glow and uh, if you don't want to give this inner glow we'll just turn off the stroke and click on inner glow and increase the size not so much uh, just a little bit and then change the inner glow color to white i think it's nice then uh, we will click on uh, inner shadow but before we give inner shadow we will click on the stroke turn off the glow because it's not so much nice so we'll size it up a little bit maybe eight then softness should be increased a little bit which gives a nice uh, inside look increase that then increase the choke and then increase the size maybe not so much but 5 is nice or 7 I think it's nice here yeah. 14 or 15 is nice and we'll decrease the or we can increase this to 100% is nice so that's nice click on ok that's the basic effect now we'll change the overall color to change overall color it's very easy and simple uh, we will simply just click on color and balance from the color and balance we will select the midtones and we will change its color if you move this to blue it will turn into blue you can increase the blue or you can change the colors to golden like this which uh, which is very rare I think it's uh, nice here you can change the overall look so I think we can change this to some other colors like uh, like this color and we can change the highlight you can see and then change the shadows that's nice now what uh, we want to do is 
we will simply just click on this effect and click on um, selective colors select this and click on neutral because the color was uh, gray a little bit so we'll change this black to a little increased so it will increase the blue lens that looks nice now you can change the colors of uh, roundness so i think it's nice here so that's the basic effect and you can add little text of uh, your logo like uh, your your text and we are good to use this size it down and there we go make it soft light that's nice so you can make this effect you can create this effect this effect and this effect it's uh, all depend on your choice and your settings how you like to apply these settings uh, and i hope you like this video if you like this video and found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up we will meet in our next and detailed videos uh, soon and uh, all the links to download these logos are free i will add file of this project file i hope uh, so do not forget to subscribe and we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning